And Jackson got the ball back on the inside to Belcher. Belcher slipped the pass. It's been picked up by Henjack. Henjack for the line. And little fellow's still going. He's only a couple of metres away. Canberra right on the attack. Walters into dummy half. He, the pass has been knocked down. It should be six to go. It is. So Canberra with a good opportunity. They're only six metres away. I'll send it out this side as they do now through Meninga. Meninga goes on his own. Slips the pass back to Walters. On it goes to Coyne. And Coyne might have lost the ball. It's loose on the ground. And Haddock has it for Illawarra. Desperation stakes there for the Steelers. That was good play, especially by the, uh, the young centre, Jackson. Slipped the ball back inside to the fullback, Belcher. And there we saw the class, David. The man linking through from the fullback. And that's going to cause a lot of problems for the Steelers' defence. And there, Illawarra again, finding touch. A little bit fortuitous, perhaps, from Dean Carney's boot. But good players. Well, he even shakes his head. That's Todd taking it up. He slipped a lovely pass away. So, Walters... Now, this is the other uh, forward in Backo, and Backo's going almost all the way. Strength, determination, he's there, is he or not? Try, I think, it is. Fair try. Sam Backo, the try scorer, it's 4-0. Brilliant try, David. And this is what football's all about, running onto the ball at full speed. Now, you'll see this from the head-on shot. Now, watch Worthington here. He hangs off, didn't want to know. Backo says, out of my way, I'm going in. And this is not going to stop this fella. Boy, oh boy, look at the strength. Try number one. Canberra have got the ball. Midway, half and quarter line, inside their own territory as Meninga has it now. And again, so easy does he seem to evade the defenders. McIndoe's made a bit of a mistake of that uh, attempt to take, but he did knock it backwards, and so at least the Illawarra still retained possession. Lada runs it back towards the halfway line. He may, may have made a meal of it, McIndoe, but it, it was good positioning by the wingman. He realised that the kick was on, and he was running that right the way back in the right spot. Carberry to get up and play the ball just inside Illawarra's territory. Bolt away it goes to big Chris Walsh. His first season with Illawarra, moving down from St George this season. Bolt sends it away the short side. Now the pass has come out towards Carney. Carney's out of one. He's over the quarter line. Can he get his pass back to Kelly? It's Kelly's knocked it on, but I think it's going to be a forward pass anyway. I wasn't sure whether maybe even Ferguson's hand might have touched the ball between Carney's pass getting into the hands of Kelly. But obviously the referee said no. Well, just a bit of inexperience here by Carney. Now, he's trying to tell to the wingman, come inside, come inside, but he, he left it a little bit too late. And Kevin Roberts telling the Illawarra Steelers they've got to get back the 10 metres. Gee, that was a nice tackle. The referee's going to cook. He's off. He sent him off. My word. In fact, Todd has been sent off. They're using the elbow. They're using the elbow. Well, this is quite explicit. The picture tells a thousand words. Well, there's Beautiful. no doubt, no, Beautiful. No Beautiful. doubts about that. I saw Walsh, he didn't flinch. He just came up and took the man ball and all. So Canberra now, they might be leading 6-0, but they've got their backs to the wall as they have the ball just inside Illawarra's territory and uh, taking it up this time is Walters. He's tackled 11 metres Illawarra's side of halfway. Now that's uh, O'Sullivan going straight across the field, trying to link up out there with Faye, which he does in the end. Faye trying to get away from McEnoe. Back it goes to Henjack. Henjack down over the quarter line. The little man's still going. He tried to get the pass back on the inside and Lada's got it for Illawarra. Well, a wasted chance there by the Canberra Raiders. But I've been very impressed with them, David. They're, they're keeping this ball. Oh, dearie me. And that's another mistake from Chris Withall. Well, that's two mistakes now that Chris has made almost in the same area. Dropped the ball twice, and certainly that is giving Illaw oh, Canberra some great opportunities. Mal Meninga going on his own. Big Mal, can he get there on his own? Pops the pass up. Ferguson scores. Good football from Big Mal. Held it up originally, went through the gaping hole. He could have scored himself. He's such a big and strong man but unselfishly gave the ball to Chica Ferguson. It's 10-0. Oh, but what a dummy. Oh, there you see it. Now you don't. And they say this guy's going to eventually finish up in the forwards. Not if he keeps going through like that. That's sheer skill and strength. Orthodox, unorthodox pass over the top. Ferguson says, I'll do that all day. Might only be six. Moving in. There's the kick. It looks pretty good. Right off the boot, over the black dot. Two more points to Canberra. And the Raiders have skipped away to lead by 12 points to nil, despite the fact that they've got Brent Todd sent off for that use of the elbow and the tackle involving Chris Walsh. So the Steelers with the ball. Again, it's Haddock who has to do so, so much of that work in close to the ruck. Withall gets the ball back to the quarter line. 
with the exception of that clean break made by Carney, who has the ball now. I can't remember another one made by Illawarra in the first half. And Carney's uh, ball is collected comfortably by Ferguson, who scored the second try. And got, he, got his pass away from Belcher, and Belcher's in a bit of open space here. Belcher coming down to the quarter line. He's got O'Sullivan in support. O'Sullivan for the line, throws the pass back on the inside to Jackson, and Jackson will score a super try. Beautiful play by the wingman here, but five Illawarra. One, two, three, four, five. Now you see me, now you don't. Put on the pace, through the forwards, out of the way, Kevin. The referee says I'll oblige. Now look at the positioning of the halfback here. Beautiful play by O'Sullivan. Draws the man, over it goes. You won't get them any better or any easier than that. Moves in, has no troubles with the extras, and so Canberra lead Illawarra by 18 points to nil. Canberra with the ball on tackle number five, just out from their own uh, quarter line. They tried to get a kick in a moment ago, and now they'll get the chance, and it's Belcher who belts the ball high in the air, straight down the throat of Larder, back on his own quarter line, and this is going to be a penalty. Now, this one will be before... It's against O'Sullivan, and basically what it's for is that O'Sullivan was well, well in front of Belcher when he... Uh, Had to play the ball. He was... Uh, well, basically, what happened was as soon as the ball was played, O'Sullivan went herring off down the field even before Belcher got it. So he was almost uh, to the position where Lada kicks for touch when Belcher actually kicked it. Well, it's an unusual one. It's in the rule book. There's not many uh, referees utilise it these days. We have seen it a couple of times, though, uh, this year, and... Uh, it's one that I think should be should be applauded, really, because sometimes uh, a lot of players go screaming downfield, put pressure on, and they've really come from offside positions. Haddock taking the ball down the centre as the second rower this time, Worthington, and seems to have recovered from that early knock. Ten metres inside Canberra's territory. Well, they're desperate at the moment, the Steelers. They work at the blind side to upfield. Upfield, a little chip and chase. He's regathered. Pass comes back on the infield. Super try coming up to Steve Larder. Oh, that's a magnificent reply. Good play by the lock, as I say. Now watch out for this little flick inside. He knows that Larder's there. Didn't have to look. Great football. And the fullback in for the Steelers' first try. And is this the road back? So here comes Dean Carney. The chance to add the extras. Moves in. The kick is successful. And now Meninga's made big inroads. That's a beautiful ball away to Belcher. Belcher's pass finds Ferguson. A good juggling at. He's going to keep the ball alive. He doesn't have to. Oh, this is vintage Chicka, and they're in again, the Raiders. So Meninga now with the chance to add the extras from almost in front. And that might be just about curtains for Illawarra, Steve-O. 22 points to six. If Illawarra had been able to score first in the second half, well, they had a big chance to come back. But here's Meninga's kick, and it looks pretty good, and it's two more points. So he's got four out of four, Big Mal, today. He's had a blind at a boot, both... In general play with his kicking and magnificent running, he's been very much involved in setting up two of Canberra's tries. It's 24 points to six. Now taking it down the centre, Illawarra get within about four metres of that Canberra line. They need some points quickly. Haddock holds the pass up. That's Hetherington. Hetherington can't get through that Canberra defence. He's nine metres away. Carney into dummy half. Carney goes on his own down the blind side. He gets within about five metres. Upfield holds the pass up for Worthington and he'll score! Worthington is in and so the Illawarra Steelers have hit back. That's probably the softest try of the day but the most important one so far for Illawarra. Things haven't gone their way. Notice a little flick and this for once, the camera defence was stretched. The hooker went the wrong way and realised too late. And he should convert the try, which he does. And so there's only 12 points in it again. Canberra leading Illawarra by 24 points to 12. Yes, and you can see that there's someone, uh, they're going to take him straight off. Certainly, uh, what bad luck for McIndoe. Gee, I hope it's not serious, because if ever there's a young man that deserves an Aussie ge ge jersey or a chance to wear one, it's this fellow. In a lot of pain, David. It looks, looks to be a knee injury. Alan McIndoe, but the Raiders are on the attack here. O'Sullivan back in amongst the Fords. He slipped it away to Ferguson, and Ferguson... Very wiry and very strong. 
They're only 18 metres away here, the Raiders, as Walters sends it away again to O'Sullivan. Now taking it up is the prop forward. And uh, getting within about uh, 12 metres of the line there is Backo. I'll send it back to the open side. O'Sullivan has another shot at field goal. And that one, again, has gone through the post. Another one for O'Sullivan. So it's 25 points to 12. And that might be just enough. That 13 points buffer zone. That means they have to score three times in Illawarra. And here's another replacement coming on now for Canberra. And now the ball out wide from Jackson. He got that ball away. And look at the magnificent positioning of Belcher away. It goes to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan for the post. Throws the ball back towards the youngster. And Young will score. Paul Young has scored the try. Well, not a bad opening gambit for this young kid. Now Illawarra with a chance to try and add some late points. Kissel, the run round with uh, Haddock. Go, the ball goes back towards Hardy, who's in the centres at this stage. Kissel goes the blind side. He's going to try and link up with Bradley, which he does. Bradley coming down to the quarter line. He's got to pass away. Coming back on the inside of Saunders. And Saunders will score. A belated effort, but Illawarra are in for another four-pointer. Slips it out. Good play by the winger. And Saunders scoots away. Not a person in front of him. And a good consolation try. And there's the attempted conversion from Larder. And it doesn't really even reach the goalpost. He really did muff that. And so the score, 29 points to 16. This has been a Fox Sports production.